All right, so more, another rule for um, finding derivatives. Here we have the quotient rule. So why don't we, um, why don't you pause the video and uh, try to find the derivative of each of these functions. So if we have this, this function can be written like that, and that can be differentiated with the power rule. We just multiply 1 times a half and then 1 minus 1, so that's the derivative. Uh, the same thing can be done over here. 1 fourth x squared plus 1, and that's 1 fourth x squared plus 1 fourth. So the derivative is 2 times a fourth x, and that'll be a 0, 1 half x. We know that 5 tangent x, the 5 just stays there, and then tangent is secant squared. But this is the new type of function that requires the new rule. Um, we can't rewrite this like we did here and use the power rule. Uh, we're not going to just use the power rule and the denominator and the numerator. And uh, here's the new rule. We're going to have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Or we could say this is the um, low d high minus high d low over low low. And uh, I didn't think of that. I, I heard that on some calculus video, so I don't remember the name of the uh, instructor. Low d high minus high d low. So we're doing the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator and then we just copy the denominator and square it. Um, if we had g of x is f of x over h of x then g prime is h times f prime minus f times h prime over h squared. So there's another way to write it with different notation. Um, all right, let's try this. All right, pause the video and try that one. So let's set it up like this. And that's going to be low d high minus high d low, secant. The derivative of secant is secant tangent secant tangent had to turn that into an x secant tangent and then secant squared so we could just write it as we'd factor out a secant from the numerator that'll leave us x tangent x We can cancel a secant.
Okay, and pause the video and try that one. This has a nice surprise at the end. Low, D high. The derivative of sine is negative cosine minus high, D low. The derivative of cosine, oops, the derivative of sine is positive cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And this gives us cosine squared plus sine squared over cosine squared. Um, but that's a Pythagorean identity, so we're going to go cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. And 1 over cosine squared is secant squared. We already know that secant squared is the derivative of tangent. Um, and this is the same as tangent. So we've just shown that the derivative of tangent is secant squared. We use the quotient rule. All right, and uh, pause the video and try that one. Low, D high, minus high, D low, or low, low. And then we can expand everything and combine. So we'll get 4x squared plus 2x minus 6x minus 3 minus 2x squared plus 6x. Four minus two, two x minus six x plus six x, so that's plus two x, and minus three, All right, um, go ahead and uh, pause the video and try this one. Low, D high, minus high, D low, or low, low, squared the denominator squared. So then we have a 0 minus 6. Uh, we're going to evaluate it at 2. So y prime evaluated at 2. And that's going to be 6 minus 1 is 5 squared, 25, negative 6 over 25. y minus y. And the y value is going to be what we get when we plug a 2 in there. 
and that's going to be two fifths y minus y and then m is the slope x minus x multiply and we'll get a positive 12 over 25 and here we'll have 10 over 25 if you multiply by uh, multiply by 5 we'll get 10 over 25 add 10 to that we get 22 Pause the video and try that one. So the derivative is x times cosine x minus sine times 1 over x squared. It's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. And let's evaluate it at pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Sine of pi is 0. And we get negative 1 over pi. Point slope, y minus y equals m, x minus x, and if we put a pi here, that'll be 0. And we get the uh, equation of the tangent line. And I think we can stop there.